Hello everyone. I am Neeraj. Welcome to the new episode. In this episode, we will connect our Chairooter demo application to our Postgres database. Database I've already created. So just have a look at the PG admin. So I've created this database Chai HTMX demo having two tables, the post table and the products table. So let's connect our application with our uh, Postgres database and uh, see what happens and how we can do that. So this is very, very simple. So there is nothing to worry. So we can use uh, GOM for connecting our uh, to connecting to our database. But uh, I am going to do something little different. So I am going to use the SQL package for the sake of simplicity. So let's do that. So first of all, so we will need to add the install the uh, appropriate driver for our Postgres database. So if we go to the this wiki, so for the available drivers, so this uh, wiki page uh, lists uh, all the available drivers for Golang. So since we are going to use Postgres, so we will need to pick uh, uh, one for the Postgres. So there are three available drivers. So but I am going to uh, install use this one. So we will simply need to install this dependency in our application. So let's do that. So in the terminal, we will copy and paste. And it will install this dependency. And also since I am going to use this uh, database SQL package. So let's import this also. So database. So this is actually a part of the library itself. And uh, we will use the init function func in it so this triggers before the execution of the main function and uh, we will create a variable actually i've already created this node so we will copy this and uh, this uh, sql this sql package is having a and also we will need to do a few steps as well so remember like in fiber and in gen also so we created a separate database package to hold the connection information but for the sake of simplicity i am going to have that stuff so i am going to connect our database and i will uh, hold the connection information in a global variable that is the simplest one actually so i'll create a global variable db let's say db con and it would be a pointer to sql dot db and uh, here we will use the sql dot open method to open the database connection so first parameter we will need to provide the driver so since we are going to use postgres so driver would be postgres and so simply we will need to provide the dsn so we will check if error is not nil then that means so there is some error so we will print the log print log and print the error so we will say error and uh, like this error in db connection so and uh, if everything goes well so we will very simply assign the, our this db con with our this db variable and also we will log dot print ln and we will say database connection successful so let's uh, see if there is any error or not. So looks like there is no error. So there is no complaint actually. Compiler is not complaining. Okay, so I'm forgotten import. Okay, so we didn't, we already, we added the, the this dependency, but we didn't uh, import that. So don't worry. So we will do that very easy way. So since we don't need to use this uh, this package anywhere directly so i'm going to place an underscore over there and uh, now it should work so let us 
close this as well now rerun the other application so yes it says database connection successful so we have successfully connected our application with our uh, postgres database and now let's uh, also create the few structs to uh, to map our database tables so let's do that so we will create a new directory it is always better to have the uh, separate modular structure so i'll create a post.go file and uh, another file would be needed to for the product product.go so start with the package model and uh, type product it would be the struct so it will just uh, map uh, the our uh, database table with the struct so first field would be id that is a uh, that would be an uh, int and uh, in the json so it would be represented as id and uh, the second of uh, the second field actually is the name name in the in the database we are having a field called uh, a db column called name and in the json it would be represented as name okay so and uh, let's do the same stuff for the post as well so it would be a part of package model type type post post struct id id is int and in the json it is represented as id and second field is the title title is an is this is string and in the json so this is going to uh, represented as title itself okay so title so looks like uh, everything seems lessons fine and uh, very quickly so we will work on uh, one handler so let's create a handler so let us create a handler here first so let's say r dot get and uh, it would be posts and uh, we will very shortly we will create this handler post handler to save time so we can copy this and uh, we will very simply replace it we will call it post handler post handler the compiler was complaining so there was a uh, uh, this curly braces mismatch when user uh, try visual access the this route uh, slash post so this route would be triggered so let's uh, very quickly just just uh, let's uh, work on uh, the first account so we will create a uh, uh, a few variables so we will say posts and uh, that would be a that would be a slice of uh, model dot post so whatever our db query returns so we will hold uh, this in this uh, slice this post slice okay and, uh, and now it's time to execute the query so we can create a variable also since we are not using gom so we are we have to write the native query so no problem so we will write select a strict from posts maybe in the database of our db table name is post yes so this is what uh, we are we have to execute so we have the query and now we have to execute this query so execution is also very very easy 
so we will create a variable so actually it returns two things and rows and error and from our db con so we will uh, execute there are multiple methods actually so but we are since we have to execute it and we have to return the record set so we are going to execute this query and uh, we will provide the sql our sql query and uh, we will check for any error so if there is any error so we will log dot print ln and we will say error in db execution and we will pass on the error as well since we have uh, we have completed our uh, db operation so it is better to close it so we will use this using the defer clause so we will close the uh, close the this database connection and uh, now we have the rows so we have got the record sets and now we have to iterate through our rows to get the individual row element so that is so for in order to do that so we will start a for loop and uh, we will use the this rows record set is having a next method so we will use this one so and uh, the idea here is that uh, this this way so we will iterate through it and we will get individual elements so we will uh, scan those elements in our in our temporary variable and we will append that that data in our slice of host okay so we will create a temporary variable of type model dot post and uh, in order to scan it so we will use rows dot scan and uh, the first one is our data dot id and uh, second field is data dot title and it it may return some error so we will need to collect it and we will check for any error so if error is not nil then we will very simply say log dot print ln and error and if everything goes well so we will need to append the this day this uh, individual uh, individual record item or to our slice of post so we will say posts equals append print and we, we will need to append into the post with the data okay so looks fine so that way so we will get the all the items so we can print it here as well what is there in the post and uh, so let's uh, run it run this application and check it okay so let's uh, test it so we will open a browser and we will access localhost our application is running on port 3000 so this is the application running and uh, we will need to run hosts so let's see that so here in the console log so we are getting these uh, two items so actually in the database so i had already added this data so there so there so these two data are uh, getting so we are getting it correctly so that way so our uh, this route uh, this functionality is is completed and now we have to pass this data back to the our this html template so that uh, when remember so yesterday we discussed that uh, we will have this uh, two buttons over there for the one for the article list and second one the one for the product list and whenever user clicks on the article list so in this uh, 
this uh, box so we will list all the available articles so the uh, business logic has been developed and all we have to do is that we have to create a template so that we can uh, render uh, render this the uh, html grid into this 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 grid so that thing uh, we will do next so that's all for this uh, for today and uh, i'll see you next so till then take care and happy coding